Hey, this is John Cena, and you are watching this WWE Fan 13. Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to today's video. So, uh, first, just ignore the noise in the background. My PlayStation's on. But, yeah, um, in today's video, obviously, you see down below, it is the story time of when I saw Nexus at Denny's and what happened. So, basically, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, this goes all the way back to July 26, 2010. Uh, I was getting ready to go to my freshman year of high school. And at this time in my life, my brother lived in San Antonio. If you guys remember a few years ago, my brother lived there, but now he moved back here. Um, but yeah, so since he lived in San Antonio and wrestling shows went there all the time, my mom would send me out there for the shows when they would go. So this was the July 26, 2010 version. If you guys want to go look it up and see the matches, I'm obviously going to tell you guys them right now. But, you know, it was a lot of cool moments. I was looking back at my photos and I was like, oh my gosh, this is when this person was there. This is when these people were there. Like, guys, honestly, these are when the Usos were still in their, like, preppy, like, outfits with Tamina. I saw the picture. Now, at first I was like, who's that? And I started looking. I'm like, oh, it's the Usos. What the heck? It was just weird to see, you know? So... I'm just going to tell you guys the matches they had, and if I have some photos to go along with the matches, I will pop them up on the screen. But anyways, uh, there was Randy Orton defeated Jay Uso with Jumi Uso and Tamina. Um, there was Edge versus the Great Khali. Now that was weird to see Edge. When I saw Edge, I was like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. Um, there was the Nexus. De defeating Evan Bourne, Jerry Lawler, Goldust, Mark Henry, David Hart, Smith, Tyson, and Yoshitatsu. Uh, we saw, we had, um, let's see what else, Alicia Fox with Julian Hall defeating Brie Bella and Nikki Bella. We had Ted DiBiase with Maurice defeating John Morrison. And The Miz and Sheamus defeats John Cena and Chris Jericho. And then, for some reason, I don't know what it was on, or it was a dark match. There was a dark match between John Cena and Chris Jericho, I think. Um, there was another dark match. I think we had like two dark matches or something. There was another one. Um, what else was there? I know The Miz tried to cash in that night and I think Randy Orton stopped him. Or something happened, I can't remember to be honest. And I just know I have the footage of um, Miz running, I mean, a uh, picture of Miz, I'm gonna pop it up now. Miz running down trying to cash in the, the belt, uh, the, his, his, um, money in the bank. Sorry the pictures aren't the best guys, this was a time where I didn't have a very good camera, I was just starting YouTube on another account, so I didn't have this nice camera that I have now. But yeah guys, so my brother took me to Raw, um, here I'm actually going to pop up pictures of our seats, this is before I started seeing front row, but these were actually very good seats, um, considering this was one of my first live, like actual Monday Night Raws I had gone to. And so, um, my brother actually lived in a little city called Uvalde, which was outside of San Antonio. So, there was a good, like, two-hour drive, I think, to Uvalde. And so, we decided to stay in a hotel in San Antonio. So, before we went back to the hotel, we were like, well, you know, let's go get something to eat. And so, um, we were in downtown San Antonio because the, the show took place at the AT&T Center, which was pretty new at the time, I think, or not very, very new, but it was new enough. And so, um, yeah, we just we were looking around, see where to eat, and the only place that we could find near our hotel was a Denny's because everything else was closed because it's already almost like 12 in the morning, I think. And so um, we were gonna get the Denny's, get it to go, and then take it to the hotel. So as we're sitting there, we order the food, whatever. I'm wearing a John Cena shirt, the orange one. I'll pop it up right now if you guys don't know which one. Obviously, you saw in the pictures of Cena, he was wearing the orange shirt, and that's what I was wearing. So, as I'm just sitting there, um, and my brother's sitting there, I got bored and I was tired, I was trying not to fall asleep, so I stood up and I started looking around the restaurant. 
And all of a sudden, in the corner of my eye, I see Wade Barrett and Skip, uh, what was his name, Skip Sheffield, but now you know him as Ryback. They were sitting there at a table all by themselves, just them two. Um, they were just by themselves. I, they weren't sitting with the rest of the Nexus. Because the rest of the Nexus was on the other side of the Denny's sitting all together. You know, Justin Gabriel, he's Slater, um, Michael Tarver, who else was in the Nexus? Uh, did I say Justin Gabriel? I don't remember who else was in the Nexus. I don't think Daniel Bryan was there. Was Daniel Bryan in Nexus? I think he was. But I think this was after, I think he got in trouble or something for choking Justin Roberts. But, um, yeah. You know, um, so I was just kind of looking there. I was like, am I tired? Or is that actually them? So I told my brother, I was trying to be all, like, nonchalant, like, saying, like, oh, I was trying to be, like, you know, like, secretive, even though I was staring right at them. I was like, Corey, Corey, the Nexus is over there. And, you know, my brother was brand, well, he had watched wrestling when he was, like, in, like, you know, the Attitude Era, but this was getting him back into it. So he remembered the Nexus from the show. And then he's like, wait, the, the, the big group that attacked, like, everyone? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, the Nexus, like, there's two of them. The two, the leader and another guy are over there. And then the rest of them are over there. So then I was all getting excited, but I was like, I don't want to bother them because one of my big things is not bothering them. And then, um, what's it called? So I just sit back down. I'm like, you know what? If he walks over, if any of them walk over here, then I'll go up nicely and say, oh, hey, can I have a picture, please? I'm sorry to bother you, but I don't want to bother them while they're eating. So I just sit back on the bench that's in the front of the, uh, um, in front of the, what is it called? In front of the, like, restaurant where you wait and stuff. And so I'm just sitting there, and then all of a sudden, I see freaking huge, he, this guy is huge. And I've already met him before after this incident, but Wade Barrett, huge guy. I didn't think he was that big. Because, you know, from where I was sitting, you know, you can't see how big they are, really. It's different when you're sitting front row or, like, first few rows, you can see how big they really are. But, like, when I saw him walk up, I was like, oh my gosh. Like, so um, I waited till he went to the restroom. And then when he walked back out of the restroom, I went up to him and I was like, hey, and this member, I'm wearing a Cena shirt. Wrong shirt to be wearing. But I went up to him and I was like, can I have a picture? And he looked so bad because, you know, at this time I was a little kid. Well, not little kid. I was a freshman, but I was still, you know, I was still young and I look younger than I actually am. And so I look even younger. And, you know, he looked like he felt bad. And, you know, he turned to me to the side. He's like, you know, I would really love to, but I'm not allowed to take pictures with anybody. He, and then he's like, he told me, he's like, the WWE does not let me take pictures because I'm a, since I'm, since I'm a bad guy. That's literally exactly what he said. So I said, oh no, that's fine. So he shook my hand and he told me, my brother, he hopes we have a good night. And then he pretended to play it off as he's like a big bad guy, you know? But I think he felt bad since I was younger, but he was staying in character, which sucks, you know? It sucks for me because I wanted to get a picture because I actually did like the Nexus, but of course I like Cena more. But, um... So I didn't bother asking any of the other um, the other wrestlers because I figured I was going to get the same answer. But later on, I think my brother said that he went to the restroom. And as he was walking out of the restroom, one of the other Nexus members was walking into the restroom. Which I thought that was kind of cool. We were waiting for our food also. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. It's just a short story time. I just think it's really cool that I actually saw the Nexus at Denny's. Um, it's always been one of the stories that always stuck out to me when I thought about telling a story time. You know, it's not the longest story time. I'm sorry it's a short video or short enough. Shorter than my other story times, but i just always been wanting to tell you guys a story because I think it's actually really cool. And, um, yeah, I've just never had another experience like that seeing another... Like, I've seen other people, which I'll have other story times, like, in public. There's only one other person, but I don't want to ruin it for the next story time. But this one was probably, I think, one of my favorites that I have just because, you know... It was just so random. It was after Raw. We were I was half asleep, and then all of a sudden I just see Wade Barrett and the whole Nexus. So I thought that was cool. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the story time. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing the old photos from 2010 with my very bad camera at the time, which I thought it was a good camera at the time, but it really wasn't. Um, but yeah, and all, maybe it's just I sucked at taking photos too, because all my photos were pretty blurry. I don't know what was going on with my photography skills at that time. They've gotten a little better though. But uh, yeah. So that's it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below if you guys want to hear more story times, I have plenty more to give you guys, um, next one will probably be maybe how I became friends with Vicky Guerrero, um, that's a good story, or about the time I saw a WWE wrestler, oh, an ex-WWE wrestler on the airplane on the way to, where were we going, I think on the way to WrestleMania 32, 
um, and a bunch of other stuff. Or maybe the story time when I met Undertaker, or when I met Stone Cold, or when I met China. So comment down below what kind of story time uh, you want me to tell you. And yeah, so that's it. Enough jabbering on. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Are you a supporter of the Marine Corps? Absolutely. Great, because a former decorated member of the United States Marine Corps needs your support. And his name is